Well, our next guests are giving an opportunity of a lifetime, a chance to win or actually get a Picasso for 100 euros. You're kidding. 100 euros. Well, they're not international art thieves. No, they're actually <laughs> philanthropists not. working to help the people of Lebanon. <laughs> Here to explain more is Olivier Picasso and Perry Colchine. Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. So, um, Olivier, you're actually Pablo Picasso's grandson, yeah. and we'll get to that later, but let's first talk about this magnificent piece. You're telling me that I can own that for a little more than 100 euros? Yeah, it's How possible. How is that possible? <laughs> it's possible, thanks to Perry and uh, an organization for the Association to Save the City of Tyre in Lebanon. It's, uh, it's a great chance to have a Picasso on your wall for a little price. Mm, okay. And there are only 50,000 tickets worth each uh, 100 35 euros, yeah. uh, 100 euros, 135 dollars. Dollars, $35. Yeah. So Perry, walk us through how this works. So we go to a website, we yeah. pay you 135 dollars. It's very easy. Okay, walk you us through it. You go directly to the website, www.1picasso100euros.com. Okay. And you can immediately buy a ticket with your credit card, yep. very simple. And uh, you will get a receipt saying you just bought a ticket. Mm -hmm. And in 15 days only, we have the drawing in Paris. It will be live on internet. And you will see who will win this beautiful, magnificent Picasso. Now and just... if you don't win oh. it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you participated to a charity business that we are, we are having here. And uh, you will help few projects I can explain later. Okay. So it's just one winner. One winner. Oh my gosh, Harry, so exciting. Harry, I want to win. Uh, you have to <laughs> buy a ticket. Okay, I'll do that. We'll definitely get our tickets after the show. But tell us more about this painting. It's called Man with Opera Hat. How did you go about choosing this particular painting for the lottery? Oh, when, when Perry came with the idea of this uh, uh, raffle, at the beginning I was really worrying about how she could find such a beautiful piece. Mm -hmm. And this paint on paper is from 1914. Mm -hmm. It's from the Cubism period of yes. my grandfather. So it's something that normally you see more in a museum but on a television studio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's estimated one million dollar. You wow. are kidding. Yeah, it's That's not a million a joke. dollar piece right there. That's yeah. a million dollar piece. For only 100 euros? Yes, okay, you I'm can buying. have it on your wall. How many tickets can I buy? Can I buy several? As much as, is, uh, as you want. Well, oh, wow. I don't know how many are left, but uh, okay. uh, yeah, there is few left, so you can, uh, you can go and buy, but you have to rush. <laughs> okay, rush. <laughs> Actually, it's yes. the idea. How much time do we have to buy? Uh, we still have only 15 days 15 before days. the drawing. Okay. But the idea was, you know, Usually, we fundraise by doing dinners, gala dinners, and we are so fed up with those gala dinners. You go and you don't know what to say to your neighbor on the table, yes. and uh, you look at your watch and say, okay, let's go home quickly. Because, yeah, Perry, you have the dry chicken, uh, yeah, <laughs> the bad wine, yeah. and then you're just saying, Okay, what? you know what I'm yeah, talking no, about. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. so this is it. And we try to find another new idea to make it uh, more fun, Mm -hmm. new and also to reach all over the world people that can participate to our uh, organization okay. and Here, the money is going. where is it going yeah where yeah. do the proceeds go to I, okay. I hear for charity art yes. charities in Lebanon okay tell it us is, more yeah you know uh, Tyre is a city in south of Lebanon and uh, it's a world heritage of UNESCO it's mm -hmm. uh, in the UNESCO world heritage okay and uh, we have there very important archaeological sites uh, that gave to humanity so many things. The alphabet that we use, mm -hmm. for example, the name of Europe, the continent came from Tyre, uh, the, uh, the sailing all over the world mm -hmm. came from Tyre. So, so many things came from Tyre. And, and that's T-Y-R-E. Yes. T-Y-R-E, yes. yes, in English. Mm -hmm. And uh, th those things are important for us and for the whole world, and we need to protect them. But uh, the archaeological site is still very, very uh, not, uh, how, how do you say, it's still under the ground. Yes, okay? not as developed. Yeah, okay. a, a part of it is already out, and you can see it, and it's beautiful. It's exceptional, one of the hugest place in the world. Mm. Yeah, it's even bigger than Athens or places. Really? Oh, yes, yes, definitely. Huh. And uh, you can check this on internet. You'll see it's really huge, but people don't know about it because it's in Lebanon and it's so far. So, and, but today we are trying to fundraise this money for 
uh, cultural and humanitarian purposes mm -hmm. because this is the emergency there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the money will go to create employments for women and uh, disabled and people that are really in the need today to to work and uh, earn some money from this. And now, Olivier, is that what drew you to this event and this project as well? I thought the project was great, and I was ready to help Perry and the organization by promoting uh, in Europe and today in New York, because it has not only a cultural side, but also a social side by creating those jobs. And uh, thinking about my grandfather, I thought it was something that he would have loved. He was a pioneer in many ways as a man, with his love life, as an artist, with his period, and today is participating to a great cause. Mm. Mm. And you've also published a book recently about your family, Picasso, The Real Family Story. So tell us a little bit more about the book and what was it like growing up in the Picasso family? The thing is that everything to me was normal when I was a child. There were paintings and drawings at home, so nothing was complicated. Mm. It's just the day he died that I realized that the man had a great life and, uh, and some complexity. You didn't realize that until he died? Because I was a boy <laughs> and I was not given information about adult subjects. Mm -hmm. And I realized that my grandmother was not the only one, but there were many women in, in my grandfather's life. <laughs> and hopefully, he was, uh, he was inspired by many women, which is great for museums and collectors. Mm -hmm. Your grandmother was Maria Therese? Ma Marie Therese. Marie Therese. Yes. She's the one who is very famous here in New York at auctions. Mm -hmm. Last mm -hmm. month, there was again big sales with portraits of my grandmother. Mm -hmm. One of the most important. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. One of the most important muses. I yeah. studied her for an entire semester in college, so I know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you, what is the favorite piece of your grandfather's? Oh, it's difficult. When you imagine that he painted more than 8,000 pain mm. pain wow. pain paintings, uh, I would say naturally that my grandmother is inspiring me, but I try to be honest and to see that my grandfather was like a genius when he was 15 years old and the classical um, drawing and painting from the blue period, yes. from the pink period, mm -hmm. and even the work of the cubist period, like this one, mm -hmm. are fantastic. So it's difficult to make a choice. Mm. Well, what I do think, you think my favorite is La Demoiselle. Mm. Damignon. Oh, Damignon. You have it yeah, here. It's behind you. Thank you. Yeah, and you're lucky. It's in New York. Yes. Right. Yes. Weeping yes. Woman is one of my favorites. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> yeah. Thank you very I much. guess, you know, you look at these and there's so many different interpretations you can take out mm -hmm. of these. Um, why do you think people are so fascinated with your grandfather's work, even today? Oh, probably because it was a free man. Mm -hmm. It was someone who invented modern art, but more than this, it was someone who was really free in his creation and his life. So it's probably an example for everybody. You know, the 20th century has been a century of changes mm -hmm. for, for life of everyone, for the culture, for the society. And Pablo Picasso was probably an example in advance. Mm -hmm. And he's still influencing artists today. Do you know that the rapper Jay-Z has a song about your grandfather? I know, because <laughs> my, my sister, who lives in New York, uh -huh. she participated to the video clip. <laughs> So, so I, I must say that Pablo Picasso, 40 years after his death, is still, is still in the news. Wow. Well, what do but, you remember most about him? Oh, sorry. oh, when I was a child, I thought my grandfather was tall, a tall mm -hmm. man. And in fact, it's because I was very small. <laughs> <laughs> and I discovered the letter that he was a small man, but with a great destiny. Mm. Yes. Now, Perry, you were going to say something. Yeah, I mm -hmm. was going to, to say, because Olivier was saying that his grandfather was always uh, doing new things and pioneer in so many new things mm -hmm. in art and in his life. Mm -hmm. And I think this was one of the reasons why Olivier was helping us for this fundraising mm -hmm. with this story of one Picasso for 100 euro. Because when I told him about it, he said, Yes, it's so new. I'm sure my grandfather would yeah. have been going for this straight away because mm. it's funny and it's new and it's, very, it's, you know, it's the first time in the world that you have a piece like this mm -hmm. being ruffled. I cannot believe wow. it. Yeah, it's the first time in the world. So uh, it's an event, I mean. So will this become an annual event? <laughs> oh, I think it's... It was a tough job for Perry yeah. to organize this yeah. and to find the right piece of art. Mm. But how did you, it took how us... about finding the right piece? And yeah. how did you know that this was the one that would 
Okay, we, we looked really all around mm -hmm. and we tried everywhere. And when we found this piece, I asked Olivier and few experts and like those bees, so the bees, mm -hmm. and they said it's a major piece. It's really exceptional because you have the colors. Olivier can explain better than me, but uh, what I understood, the colors here are uh, very new in the cubist work because they allowed uh, Pablo Picasso to avoid using the perspective, the mm -hmm. perspective. So mm -hmm. they, they, the, the color is doing this instead of the perspective. So it's a, a major piece. And when we found this piece, Olivier said, yes, it's great. You should go for it. And we tried our best. It took us two years. Two years. Yeah, to get all the authorization from the French government because mm. Um, you know, it's it's a monopoly. You cannot do a raffle like this. No. It's like in the States. Yep. So you have to take the authorization. And we went through all the ministry, finance, interior, etc. And they gave us the okay and we started. And now all the money that we are getting from this raffle is going directly to the Ministry of Finance. Mm -hmm. They are supervising the whole raffle and the whole spending of the money mm. later on. How much do you hope to raise? Five million. If wow. we sell all our tickets, we will mm -hmm. have five million euros. That makes like six and a half uh, million dollar. I would say that's a good donation. <laughs> yeah, it's a great. And you know, you have the chance to get it on your wall or mm -hmm. ah, and if. I have to say, if you don't want to keep it for any reason... Oh, come on, Harry. Who yeah, would not to? want to keep a Picasso on their wall? Uh, I'm telling you, no, I've, <laughs> uh, no, I met people, they prefer to get the money mm. and sell the Picasso. Never. Oh, mm. okay, fine. If you win it, you will... <laughs> Never. Where would you hang it? In your room? Um, uh, in my living room, in above living the fireplace. Room? Oh, okay. Everyone, everyone can see it. And <laughs> buy an entire beautiful lighting system and it would all shine <laughs> on the piece. Directly on it. Exactly. <laughs> this sounds good. But if you don't want to keep it, then you can sell it. And uh, many auction houses would help for that, I know. So, <laughs> Or maybe the Picasso Museum. It's supposed to reopen again next year, right? Yes, next what year can we Paris. expect? What, oh, it would be a brand new museum because they are have doubled the, the superficies, the occupancy, the surface, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it will be something like 55,000 square foot. Wow. So it will be a real, real big museum next year, uh, spring 2014. Oh, I cannot wait. Uh, no, yeah. we'll definitely Shannon, looking forward to that. Shannon, you and I in Paris <laughs> in spring. I like it. We'll do a whole show from there. How All about right. that? <laughs> and Perry, what's next for you? Oh, I'm now completely in this mm -hmm. and I hope we will have the success that we are expecting and the next step is to go and deliver this painting somewhere I hope here in the US <laughs> well we Why have not? 15 more days and give us the website once again so people can go and buy tickets it's www one Picasso 100 euros.com and those are both the numbers one and yes. 100 yes okay. one and 100 Perfect. very easy and uh, we hope everyone will understand this and uh, we are here to help women and and young kids to have work and to be Done. proud of what they are doing in their life right. so go for it and right. you know it's a great gift for Christmas That's Christmas is true. coming Shannon. very true yes. <laughs> now I know what I'm getting low yes. <laughs> oh, so sweet thank you <laughs> and I've been told it's today is a, it's a giving Tuesday yep it's called giving Tuesday right date give your give you a chance give yourself a chance to win a Picasso so <laughs> okay I'm going there right after the show to the website okay. thank you guys so much thank you, for you very us. much for having us good thank luck. you so much and you're watching Arise Entertainment 360